I hope that today we're finding you well and healthy. And we're so glad that you've joined us for our third pastoral video as we live through these uncertain times. This past weekend, I glanced out into my backyard and amongst all of the dead leaves that had accumulated over the winter, I noticed some tall green shoots springing up. My daffodils are waking up from the cold winter and honestly, I can't wait to see the flowers. I was so impatient that I went to Hy-Vee and purchased these flowers just to remind me what will soon be gracing my backyard. This past weekend, a member here at the church sent me a poem, and it came to her from a friend in Amsterdam. As I looked at the shoots in my backyard, I thought about the words of the poem. Now, the poem is very long, and I'm not going to share it with you in its entirety, but I do want to share a few stanzas of it. The poem is entitled, But Spring Didn't Know. It had been a long, dark winter. February had been a restless month. In fact, all of nature was restless, as if she wanted to tell people something, as if she wanted to warn people of something. Soon, the streets were empty. Stores were closed. Cars were parked. And people were working from home, isolating themselves from their neighbors. Countries around the world were locked down. Everyone knew what was happening, but spring did not know. The flowers began to come out of the cold ground and began to bloom. The sun seemed to shine brighter and warmer, and the sweet songs of birds returned. Children studied online and played inside their homes or backyards. No more play dates for them. Adolescents were bored. People only came out to shop for groceries or walk their dogs. Businesses started laying off employees and some closed. Suddenly in many places, there wasn't enough room for all of those needing to be hospitalized. Everyone knew what was happening but spring did not know. She continued to bring forth flowers from the earth and produce buds on the trees. The poem goes on, and at a later date, I will share a little bit more. But for today, I want us to remember that even though we know what is happening in our world, spring doesn't know. Yes, times are difficult for us, but there are still some things that are constant in our lives. Spring has come again, and the God who loves each of us is still in control. So this week, as you look outside your window, remember that spring didn't know, and look for signs that she is here to bring joy to your heart and to remind you that the dark days of winter always give way to the brightness of spring. Hello everyone, Pastor Edgar Solis here. I want to share with you hymn 707 in our United Methodist Church hymnals. 7 07 Hymn of Promise. In the bowl there is a flower, in the seed an apple tree, in cocoons a hidden promise, butterflies will soon be free. In the coldest snow of winter, as the spring that waits to be, unreveal until it seasons, something God alone can see.
There's a song in every silence, seeking word and melody. There's a dawn in every darkness, bringing hope to you and me. From the past will come the future, what is wholesome mystery. On reveal until this season, something God alone can see. In our end is our beginning, in our time infinity, in our thou there is believing, in our life eternity, in our death a resurrection, of the last a victory, on reveal until this season, something God alone. Can see. We have to be reminded that God is with us, with you, with your family, with our community. Let's keep on praying and hold the promise that God is the only one that we can trust. In the midst of all of these hard moments in the world, let's keep praying and hold the promise of Jesus Christ's presence among us, between us, in our hearts, in our souls, in our community. God bless you and thank you.